Hello everybody. <laughs> yes, that's our very good friend Timmy. Timmy Ajiboye. It's Ajiboye, right? Yes, Ajiboye. <laughs> so uh, I've known Timmy for what? Four, five years, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, about at least five. At least five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he currently is the CEO of Bycoins, but he's also an engineer, right? Yeah. Um, Bycoins is a company that allows individuals trade crypto, just buy and sell crypto. They have, you know what, why am I selling your market? Talk about Bycoins. Yeah, so like, like <laughs> uh, Bycoins lets you buy and sell, um, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin as easily and as fast as is humanly possible. Maybe a bit faster. He's, he's proud of Very proud <laughs> Very proud of so usually i this is the first of the many videos that i probably am going to be doing but usually i've always had this thought that I, anytime i run into friends of mine or people who i know i always wanted to know what's their story how did you start coding tell everybody um coding uh, so i've kind of the actual origin story was me being 10 and my uncle who was a doctor was learning teaching himself visual basic to kind of like make his future hospital paperless, which he eventually did. Mm -hmm. And he actually still sells the software till today. So he was <laughs> showing me things like how to make like buttons, um, you know, visible or disabled, mm. how to do an action when you click a button. I, I think on the Visual Basic version of an on-click listener. Mm. Yeah, so I, I could build a barely functioning calculator then. But then I always just took that knowledge for granted. I didn't really want to do anything with it until I grew older and wanted to start making stuff. And then I had to start thinking, who do I know that can write code? And yeah, at that point, I just figured I'm going to do it myself <laughs> because I probably can. Uh -huh. So yeah, and that started like maybe my second year of uni or third. I think I was um, 19 maybe then. Mm, sweet. Yeah, as you can see, that is Ire Inset. Ire, say hi. hi. <laughs> okay, so she's also a co-founder at Bycoins, uh, but I'm going to get to her soon. I told her I'm going to put her on the spot. All right, so tell me, how did you, how did you find information? I mean, back in the day when we, uh, you know, people like us were trying to go, it's not like I'm very old, but there wasn't any Google. We had Ask Jeeves, we had uh, Bing, and so on and so forth, right? So tell me your own experiences. How, how did you find information when you were learning? And how would you advise the young cats today, you know, to look for information? You know? Yeah, um, so, you know, it was, it was definitely easier for us. For, yeah, there was more Google, uh, more um, Stack Overflow, mm -hmm. more GitHub, and I guess books. Even though I never finish any programming books, what I do is I start reading it and doing all the tutorials and then I just get bored and then I start writing code with the small that I've read. So it was pretty straightforward. Um, I think today there are way more resources, mm. um, but at the end of the day, the way I like recommend for anyone to learn, whether or not you are in the area of Google is, think of something you want to be able to build and then Google that. Anything that you don't understand, Google that. Google it. <laughs> yeah. And then you, you find that you get to the simplest um, topic. Mm. And the moment you learn that, you can move forward and keep going. It, it might be years <laughs> before you're able to build what you wanted to build or what you would uh, like to be able to build. But mm. that, I think that's the motivation for me when I think, okay, I want to make something. And yeah. That's I guess I, I just have two more questions. Um, one is, how would you, I mean, what would you say to people who, how would you, people who want to be like you, or people who have heard about Timmy and they've heard about Bycoins or they know about the genius or so on and so forth. What advice would you, <laughs> what advice would you give them, you know? What advice would you give them? Just do it. Like, I think that's the only thing about myself that I think is maybe f slightly different from most people. I don't think I'm particularly smarter than at least people that I'm surrounded by. Mm. I don't think I am the best developer. I'm definitely not. <laughs> but I just get up and do things. Like if I know I want to do something, I'm just going to do it. Whether I have knowledge, whether it's, it's difficult, or it doesn't mean it won't fail. It doesn't <laughs> mean you do it well. Mm. But 
the best way to get closer to being the person who has done it is to just to just get up and go. Tools, yeah, tool set. What do you use? Let other people know. Um, right. Ruby Mine for Ruby, mm -hmm. WebStorm, which is pretty much the exact same IDE. Wait, for... what? What is it with WebStorm? Um, anything that is IntelliJ and that kind of feels like uh, IntelliJ is perfect. Okay. Indexing is perfect. I'll, I'll, I'll say Searching this. for any file is perfect. Like, I'll, I'll that thing is so powerful, I'm probably only using like 2%. I'll say that too. Yeah. There's so many <laughs> things that I do with command line, uh -huh. like running tasks and everything that there are shortcuts for and configurations for that I don't need to type that many keys, mm. right? Even debugging with Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> that ID is perfect, right? Okay. And Sounds like you're in love with it. Yeah, I am. It's unfortunately <laughs> really it's expensive, which is why most, more people don't well, use how it. How much is it? Tell the viewers. Um, I think I think each one may be like $200 or something. I can't remember. But it's also a subscription. I think the whole thing comes is like 600 bucks. So you must love it to use it then. Uh, you you yes. must really love it. Yes. <laughs> it's free for students. So, oh, teachers. okay. So if you have a student email address, okay. you can get it for free. Nice. Uh, yeah. Nice. Um, so... You know, source tree for Git. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, I learned Git with source tree. Huh. So, like, the Git concepts that source tree actually uses are foreign to me. <laughs> the thing that is native to me is source tree. It's source tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what do you use GitHub, Bitbucket? Yeah, GitHub. We, me and our place use Bitbucket then. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. GitHub is now the. We use Basecamp to manage. Uh, task management at Bycoins. Oh, yeah. got it, got it. Yeah. So not Jira or like Trello or something. No, Basecamp. Yeah, and it we, works well? Yeah, we've done Trello. We don't even use Slack anymore because of Basecamp. We just really? use Basecamp and Notion. That's all. Well, oh, it has internal communication and all that. Yeah, right? but we hate chat. So. <laughs> well, so we hate chat, the rest of us like chat. There we go. <laughs> You've been Chat is not sticky. People <laughs> always lose the things they're supposed to do. Okay, so there's no context. So, but yeah. put it in email, right? No, but Basecamp, you can have projects and teams, and, then and each project has a message board, mm -hmm. and each message board has comments. That makes sense. And there's tasks, and each task has comments. So would you say that it's you that is lazy? Because no, no, no. The I whole think, world uses chat. I think people are more obsessed with instant communication than they are with actually remembering what was discussed. And also, there's so much pressure to type now, and the user interface of Slack doesn't allow you to write a well thought out you know, description of, you know, why are we building this feature, who is it for, and an actual conversation about it pertaining to just that. Also, it removes the pressure of people having to be present when that conversation is happening. Mm. Basecamp has notifications and, you know, things you've missed. You're working on your own thing, I'm not disturbing you. Two hours later when you're done, you come, you write your comment. I see it three hours later when I'm done. So it allows for autonomous working and it doesn't let us get in each other's way and like, bro, check Slack. No, you know, so. <laughs> Basecamp. So Basecamp, if you're listening, you can hear what Timmy just did. He just gave a serious plug for you guys. Maybe you should see yeah. out. Also, so, Basecamp yeah. is $99 a year or no, a month maybe. Okay. So it's, I think it's, it's a flat fee. It doesn't increase. I can't remember. I think it's 99 a month. I maybe want that. I don't know. But basically it doesn't increase the number of users you have. Unlimited projects, unlimited uh, teams, right? So it, Does it integrate to Bitbucket or GitHub? Yeah, GitHub. Yes, okay. but they have webhooks. Okay. So they have webhooks, they have an API, you can do whatever you want if you really, really, really need that. Need yeah. What other tools do you use? Yeah. So the reason why we use Notion is that I personally, as much as I love Basecamp, writing long documents is always better for me in Notion. And then Basecamp hasn't added tables yet, which is very annoying. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, Terminal is always, sometimes I switch to, what's this open source one, Hyper? Hyper terminal just because I can use themes. <laughs> That's like Pikachu uh -huh. uh, theme. Okay. Uh, I yeah, I think that yeah. Just... Zish or Bash or Zish or Bash. Because I'm on Catalina now, I'm still on the editors and I've not changed it. Uh, so I switch from Bash. I don't have any reason to change it. It hasn't frustrated me. <laughs> uh, I mean, we use we use Heroku for most things. We have mm. something on AWS, mm. uh, Netlify for front end stuff. Mm. Uh, yeah. do, you use, do you use Google at all for anything? Nope. No. Okay. So are you seeing my face? <laughs> just, just um, it's not even <laughs> anything against Google. Yeah. Even AWS, like 
is anything that is that causes me to do more configuration than Heroku <laughs> ob- objectively scares me. I'm not even pretending. I'm scared. I don't know how to so do it. So you don't like DevOps work? I don't understand it. Well, so I say this. So is this a plug? Are you saying there's an opportunity for DevOps work for at Bycoin? Not just yet. <laughs> okay. We are outsourcing it to Heroku, but I'm sure as Time we grow on. and as the things that we have on AWS, you know, becomes more complex, then definitely I will need to stop doing it myself. <laughs> so that was Timmy, uh, and he again CEO of Bycoins. Um, and thanks for having me. Thanks for sharing some of your experiences. My pleasure. Um, we hope to catch you sometime around soon and I'll force you to do another video. Yes, it will be my first. It will Peace. Be. <laughs>